Okay folks, this is the scene that we left in Cinema 4D and in this lesson I'm going to go ahead and import the mesh that we want to work with inside uh, Cinema 4D from a real flow files that we generated in our ne uh, previous section. So the first thing I'm going to do, just uh, get rid of some of this extra stuff. I'm going to go to my layer, create a new layer. I am going to name it the extra. Okay. And I'm going to put these uh, paths here into this extra layer. And also I don't need the main uh, old extrusion that we had here. And I'm just going to actually hide these guys also. Mm, okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to hide them from the viewer, the renderer, and the manager. Now uh, just we need the... Let's see. Enable the manager. I seriously don't need this one, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the layer. There we go. Now this is what we have, and we possibly need to hide this. I just want to have it in my scene. So let's go to our plugin, Real Flow and Real Flow Mesh Importer. Uh, you click on this, and now you can go ahead and simply uh, locate your file, which is in your uh, Real Flow Sim, Fluid Sim folder, and in Meshes folder. We have the retimed version and the version that we have, and we can actually uh, take a look and see uh, how the retiming actually works. Uh, let me just show you both of them. Here is the original one. Uh, I think it was uh, 715 frames. So if you go through, you can see the simulation is going to be finished in about uh, the same exact uh, timing here. You see there? And I can go ahead and have another mesh importer. And for this one, we can go ahead and use the retimed version. Okay. And uh, if I go ahead and hide the first one, just let's go ahead and hide it. The second one, uh, let's see take a look it's gonna be finished as you can see in uh, about 350 frames so uh, exactly uh, 715 um, divided by 2 is something like uh, 357 something like this and it's going to finish exactly at that time so we can get rid of the remaining frames in our uh, retimed folder if we wanted to but I still haven't decided really which version I want to use uh, for this matter, I'm just going to stick with the original uh, 700 frame for the moment until we do the lighting and prepare our scene for rendering. And after we, I can then decide to really uh, what uh, of which uh, one of those I want to go ahead and stick with. So this is our uh, real flow, uh, real flow simulation that we have imported back into Cinema 4D. We will go uh, after the lighting is done. Go ahead and actually import the particles so we can go ahead and create those small. Uh, white particles inside our fluid but for the moment, ma moment I'm gonna just go ahead and stick with this and start the lighting process now um, I'm gonna start the lighting in the next section the next lesson and the lighting for this process and for this project was uh, particularly challenging because uh, we have a, a refractive uh, material that we're gonna uh, go ahead and apply to this and we really need to go ahead and create some nice lighting and uh, because it's a refraction, uh, refractive material and we have reflection, uh, I avoid using global illumination to make sure the render is going to be uh, quicker than uh, the uh, if we had the global illumination and uh, that really requires to really work on your lighting much more harder to get the job done. Now, uh, I, I, I'm i saying and the lighting was really hard and we're going to go through the process in the next uh, lesson and see how to uh, create a sort of dramatic lighting and make our uh, fluid looks uh, so nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in our next section, our next lesson. So see you there.